Hello everyone, Tom Davis, Red 4 Reviews, and this is an update video uh, as I prepare for Patriot Training Urban Rifleman, uh, November uh, 11th and 12th of 2023. So I've gone back through, went over the, the packing list, and watched the video specific to the rifle classes. Uh, nothing um, like really outstanding or, or like really different that, that you wouldn't do for um, any other places, make sure you got range bag together, um, eye protection, ear protection, sunscreen, uh, snackies, licky chewies. He does say lunch out and bring your lunch both days or any other, you know, food along the way. Uh, it's about 40 minutes or so from any, uh, restaurant type deal. Uh, it does mention a, a class dinner, if you will, um, the evening of night one in McMinnville at a local local place. So there is that. Uh, the one thing I have noticed on here that I'll be interested to see how it shakes out is there is no mention of showing up with a zeroed rifle. Uh, now I will tell you uh, to do that ahead of time. Um, good idea to, to keep your your rifles in particular um, zeroed and, and no one offsets and all that. Uh, if you're brand new to it and learning, um, look to a class that uh, specifically says they have zeroing the rifle in it. Or, you know, jump on here. Uh, uh, you know, YouTube, there's plenty of videos out there that can go over it. A bunch of different methods, techniques, depending on application, a uh, bunch of different viewpoints. Uh, figure out what applies best for you in your situation and, and rock and rock that method. So, um, but yeah, so I, like I said on, on for this particular one and, and the reason it, I'm kind of questioning it as I go into it is that it's uh, the, the class reads as being some advanced stuff. And uh, so um, without telling me to show up with a zero rifle, um, we'll see. Like I said, with the experience, you know, you just keep your stuff zeroed. Um, but so, uh, other than like loadout magazines and, you know, go through the range bag again, which I'll do next week since I'm not, I got uh, this weekend in between it. Uh, I will, uh, I, I haven't really done any of that actually laying it out. Uh, he does talk in, in his video, and, and I would say the same deal. If you have a battle belt already set up, you know, you're going to a rifle class, go ahead and run it, or whatever you want to do. Stuff mags in pockets. I got a couple different ways I, I do them myself, you know, depending on how I feel. Um, you know, you do, there's no need to, to spend a bunch of money on, on that if you're just starting out. Um, if, you're, if you've been doing it a while, then... You know, you, you know the deal. You've got a bunch of extra stuff laying around that you've gone through. So, um, in fact, if you are just starting out, I would say, um, you know, just show up with some some mags, the, the the bare minimum requirements. And he even mentions here in this video that you can contact him uh, for, uh, um, you know, to borrow stuff. Um, battle belt, chest rig. He says he's got a couple different um, options for you. So, uh, if, if you're new to it, take him up on it. Outside of that, you know, showing up, it's, uh, it's regular range stuff. Have your uh, your range bag set up, spare batteries, uh, ear pro, eye pro, uh, like I said, and then just whatever you're taking out there. So um, looking forward to it. Should be a good time. Got a couple friends of mine that are going, so they'll be able to, to bounce some, some feedback off of me and maybe ask some other questions. So um, there we go. Uh, Tom Davis, Red 4 Reviews. It is your duty to be well-regulated. Stay dangerous.